Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick and easy way to be able to split apart any of the data bars that you might want to display as the example you can see here in a table visual or in this example as well a matrix visual where if you don't want to layer on both the actual data value or label on top of the bar itself you can separate them into a dedicated column just for that. Now there's a couple considerations to have in mind when you're implementing this and a couple of options as well when looking at in some examples the matrix table where you may or may not want to include the original value on the subtotal especially if you're hiding the label. So we're going to see each of those in turn and explore that. Let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So let's start the conversation by looking at how we would typically apply conditional formatting data bars. In the table below, we can see for the year over year sales column, they have both the data label and the bar combined. Now, depending on your school of thought, you might find this a little bit busy and you'd want to split them up. Now, the first thing you might think to do is to have a version of this table where you have two instances of the same DAX calculation in here, one where you don't apply the formatting and the other one where you would apply the formatting. Now, the issue with this is any of the names for this, as an example, if I rename this to KPI, that renames it for both. The same thing, unfortunately, is also the case for if I was to apply a data bar to this, let's just go ahead and keep the colors as is, select OK, it also applies it to both. So with only one measure in the model, any formatting that you have in a single visual or table or matrix table in this case will be applied to both calculations. Let's come over first to the table data bars tab that we have here. Now what I have done in a standard table visual is we have two separate calculations for year over year sales and year over year KPI. Now what I did is I created a new measure that all it did was reference the initial calculation. This allows you separate dedicated measure in the model to contain the same data, but because it is a separate measure, now I can format it individually. So I'm allowed to give it a unique name in this visual and I can have the separate formatting, which allows me to do the data bar design plus showing the bar only. So this allows you, so to speak, to be able to split them apart. Now, before I finalize the approach that I'm showing you now, I did have some thoughts about adjusting the min or the max, but one downside, if we come to here and go to custom, you'll see that there's no f of x symbol here. And my thinking upon this initial approach was that maybe I could use the fx button to have a measure that could then determine whatever the max was for that particular column of values add about 30 or 40% onto the total of that. So let's assume the max was 5 million, make that eight or 9 million. What that would do is then for the entire width of the column for that bar, it would add a little bit of padding to maybe allow the label to stay on the right where the actual bar could be on the left and you can have both in the same column. But as we've seen when we show this again back in the demo, it does not actually have an option for that of a VEX button. So maybe someday that might come into play, but this is why I've taken the approach that I had is because that first option was the one that would have been ideal, but just a limitation of the data bars themselves does not allow me for that degree of flexibility or customization. So hopefully someday the F of X button shows up here, but we can at least now see the application of this inside of a standard table visual. Now the matrix table comes with a few more caveats. So as we can see here, and highlight it in a few of these sections, we don't have anything showing at all specifically in the subtotals. Now to get this effect, selecting the visual to show the KPI calculation that I have here, opening this up and bringing this up as well, we can see that I'm doing a check to say if it has one value, essentially what this does is this will look to see if I'm at the lower level of my matrix breakout for any of these classes or the particular country that they're associated with. If they have one value, meaning you're at that level, calculate the year over your sales. Otherwise, don't return anything to this result. So that nulls or blanks out this calculation in here so nothing displays. And I would prefer it that way. Rather than repeating this number as is, just to show you the other result, if I was to take this out, we would get an effect that looks like this. And that repeating information to me isn't necessary. So that is why I used the formula as we see here. So. This is the reason I took this approach. So this measure for a matrix table will need to somewhat be customized to whatever levels of hierarchies you have into there, but it at least lets you apply some formatting that works at the levels you would like that bar to display. 
Hopefully, this conversation gave you some ideas around the art of possible of how you can actually separate your label and your KPI data bars to a degree inside of a visual, either in a table or a matrix. And you've also seen at least some limitations of how it's not very feasible at the moment to do it in a single column just because of the lack of formatting and F of X button options or any DAX calculations to adjust the min or maxes. But let me know in the comments down below if you want to implement this in any of your reports, how you might modify or change this in any way, or any other ideas you have for a future video. And as always, check the upper left for any related videos if you want to browse more of my channel. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you like this content. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.